Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. We rolled into McKinney Falls State Park this afternoon. I've already reviewed this site. I've, I've given you a site tour during, during July and August. If you're camping in McKinney Falls, you want to make sure you get into a, a shady site. And uh, one of my favorite shady sites is 16. So we're tucked back in underneath some trees most of the day sunsets over there so our nose will be getting baked trudy's nose is going to be cooking the, the best shade site in mckinney falls i think it's number 14. now if you have to if you need 50 amp now if you have the 30 amp and, and you don't require that 50 amp pedestal there's a lot of great campsites here but if you have to have 50 amp service my favorite site is this one right here this is site number 13. Uh, i really like 30. it's a hard 90 back in so if you got a big big art big rig just know that anyhow it's late in the day it's really too late to strap on the gears ha ah. Oh, and it's hot. It's like 130 degrees right now, 104 degrees. Uh, so I think we're just going to hang out here and do do the camp prep stuff. Uh, and then tomorrow morning, we'll, we'll go run around and see some stuff. So I'll check, I'll check back in when I have something else to talk about. You've heard the saying, the grass is always greener. They said never a truer statement spoken. Okay, so we, we were over and we, we've changed sites because we're still having bleed off on the hydraulic leveling system. And we had uh, a lot of slope on that other site. So instead of trying to resolve the, the sinking jack, so we'll just, we'll go move into a different site. And oh, that, that one looks like it's, it's yeah better level closer to level so we we moved over to a pull through <laughs> what can i say we're actually farther off the ground here than we were in the other site but i think i think we're gonna be okay because we're on the other one I was still like at the, at the, uh, off the block, so we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Hopefully it won't settle like it was settling over there. Anyhow, this is site number 10, and looking at it now that I've got the RV in here, I can see, wow, that's a lot of slope. Just so you know, site number 10 has got a lot of slope. I have a whole playlist on McKinney Falls. I've, I've, I've documented uh, uh, just about every trail, the waterfalls, the falls. I went down there yesterday and it was, there was just so much music. I, I couldn't shoot it. We'll swing back by there this afternoon. I think this morning, I don't think, I know this morning I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go on a, a couple of excursions. I'm gonna take y'all with me. We'll see how it plays out. You know, when you're standing in the TSA line at the airport and some dude forgets he's got a pocket knife in his pocket and he has to give it up. Has that ever happened to you? It's happened to us a couple of times. You can either mail it back to yourself or you can just throw it in the big box. Where do they go? They actually end up here. In the state of Texas, they end, it, it all ends up right here at the Texas State Surplus Store. You can also buy uh, highway patrol cars, things of that nature. So let's go see what kind of bargains.
Are there, are there a bunch of blind people wandering around the airports that can't find their way? <laughs> How do you walk off and forget something like that? two Victor Knox knives. It's hard to find these that have got actually the toothpick and the tweezers. They had a whole bin full of them. <laughs> Eight dollars a piece. I love the Victor Knox knife. Makes me think I'm MacGyver. Heading to the lower falls. You can see this is not Handicap. Not very impressive. It's all limestone. It's a very popular swimming hole on Onion Creek. And there's a hiking trail that goes across here. Very extensive trail network on that side of the falls. There's really only two ways to get there. One is you, you ford the creek here, which if you choose not to ford the creek, that means you've got to go park back up there and hike in. Because there are some hike in sites back there. There's some historical stuff to see. Man, you gotta just gotta love these hill country, these hill country streams with the that are running across the, the limestone, the hard surface. We don't have that in East Texas. Let's go see some more Onion Creek stuff. Vituvia, Vituvia, this e-bike is awesome. Perfect for this rough limestone surface. Fat tire, four inch fat tires and the, the front suspension makes this really rough rock doable. I'm saying good, I said doable. <laughs> I think this is my favorite area in McKinney Falls State Park. The big pockets in the limestone. It's just so cool down here. And it looks deep. I don't know how deep, but it looks really deep. Turtle. It's gonna be 100, 105 degrees today. We don't wanna leave the dogs in the RV unattended when it's that hot. Especially since Yappy's not here. I mean, she's, she's in conference all day. So I'm, I'm on duty, I'm on doggy duty. No, that, is, that, is, that is so cool. It's like a natural bonsai. 
one of the most popular swimming holes is right here on Onion Creek. When I was here on Sunday afternoon, this place was very busy. Lots of partying going on. Actually, lots of swimming going on. Beautiful cypress trees. I'll figure out how to get down there and look at that. But first, we're going to go that way. The question is, how do we get over there? Thousands and thousands of people have caused this to be really slippery, slick rock. Reminds me a lot of Petter, Petter nowadays. Interesting. So all that gravel gets spun around in there and that's how the, whole, the holes get cored out. I found something I haven't seen before at McKinney Falls State Park. So next to the visitor's center, the nature center, there's a trail. And it takes you to this bridge. And this tree. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this cypress tree. This is a bald cypress. Old baldy. Wood eternal due to its resistance, a ball cypress will have. We don't know how old it is. <laughs> well, man, look how big it is. Holy cow. It goes back up to the low the, to the lower falls day use area. I don't want to get too far away from the Valkyrie. But that is so cool. Look at look at how the the tree just goes through that limestone. This is, this is just one with the limestone. That's amazing. Talk about a Nabari. No, Nabari, Nabari, Nabari. And that's kind of cool too. We've got some ash, you no, know, a poplar. A little stump though. That's, that's so cool. I think I want to go down and look at the roots. Amazing. I know. 
I'm geeking on a tree. Good morning from McKinney Falls State Park, Austin, Texas. Today is Wednesday. There's very few people here in this campground, which is surprising and I'm not complaining. There's a lot of, a lot of waypointers roll in. It's like with most state parks. Four o'clock, five o'clock, RVs come in, set up, and then at five o'clock, they're leaving. This Texas State Park is the closest state park to uh, the state park organization headquarters. It's like right across Onion Creek, literally part of the same property. So you would think that this would be the most pristine and well cared for Texas State Park. And at one time, when, when we, the first time we were here, in the first, first several visits, uh, it was, it was clean, it was nice. Not so much anymore. There, there's campsites here that have not been cleaned in a while. There's, there's litter piled up in the burn pits, in the, in the fire pits. There's just litter scattered out everywhere. I have not seen any, but I haven't seen anyone cleaning the, the sites. Nobody riding around on gators, checking things out. Uh, there are two site hosts or two host sites that are empty. So maybe that's why no one is out here managing. Uh, it's pretty sad. Because this is a this is a pretty nice campground, but you know, there's a lot of road noise because you're in the heart of of Austin, in the flight path for the airport. So you get some flyovers like five o'clock. You you, <laughs> you know when it's five o'clock because that plane comes in at five a.m. That that very first flight. Strangely enough, the observation that we've made, I haven't seen any small animals. Uh, there's there's no I haven't seen any rabbits at all. I haven't, and occasionally, you know, you usually occasionally see an armadillo when you're in a Texas state park, but I have, I have seen no small animals. Uh, a couple squirrels here and there. So that kind of indicates that there's some predators in the area. And I, I don't know if it's coyotes, could be cats, dogs, I, I don't know. But there's obviously some kind of predator thinning out the smaller wildlife. Okay, well, those are the gripes. Oh, there's one more gripe, and that is uh, the no see and the fire ants in, in, this, in these two sites were, were pretty bad. I mean, as soon as you step out in your sandals, the no see are biting your, your feet and your ankles. Uh, fire ants have, have, are in the pad. So last night when I was sitting in the lawn chair, on the asphalt, the fire ants were biting my feet. Ziva got bit by an ant last night. That was a traumatic event for all of us. So just know there's a lot of bug life in here. What else can I tell you about McKinney Falls State Park? I mean, it was pretty much an uneventful visit. We saw the falls. I, I love going down there to see the falls. I was very disappointed that my two outings were actually i had three three things that i wanted i only had three things i wanted to see when i was here and two of them were a huge disappointment one of them wasn't even functioning so we're done mckinney falls state park once again we're not be we will probably be back here next year because yappy said the event was a big hit and they they plan on doing another one so I guess we'll be back next August. I've had a, a change in our original itinerary for this trip. I, I was leaving here today and going up to Mother Neff State Park uh, for two nights, just a waypoint. I really like that campground, but we have, my, my mother needs to go to a doctor's appointment and needs some assistance getting there so we're, we're going to the uh, mother rv campground 
uh, and there's not much to shoot video about there anyway i'm rambling along i'm not saying anything worth worth hearing so i'm gonna end it right here if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button that really helps a small channel grow hit the howdy button tell me howdy post a comment down there just say hey howdy dude uh and and please click that subscribe button that really that's, that's why i get to do what i do if it wasn't for y'all clicking subscribe i stopped doing this a long time ago because this 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 is a lot of takes a lot of work a lot of attention a lot, it, it takes way more than most people appreciate so your participation keeps me going and for those of you who have been following along thank you so very much I'm, i i i cannot express my gratitude for the amount of time that you spend with me thank you and for our patrons your generosity touches our heart we are so grateful thank you you guys rock all right y'all come back now you hear